potevo giustificare. Sì, non lo potevo. Va bene, va bene, va Well, I think that the best, best aspects of our education system is that we have a national curriculum that's, that's been ordered by the state. Um, our town's own curriculum that we can uh, add things and modify the, the national curriculum a little bit. Each school has their own curriculum which is based on the national curriculum. Even the school's curriculum gives a lot of freedom to the teacher. So we have guidelines and we have information and we kind of have this guidebook, the curriculum, that, that if we follow it, we're, our job is good, everything is okay. We have goals that children need to, or are supposed to reach during the year. Then, as a teacher, I also have freedom to go much further. I just have to make sure that I, I do everything that's in the curriculum, but I can go much, much further because the curriculum is, uh, is not that wide. So it's not too much work, I think. And I think it goes down that me as a teacher, I, I get this feeling of freedom from my headmaster and I can also it kind of flows down to the children as well. So when I feel that I have the freedom to work, mm. it's easier for me to let the children work freely, to respect the, the yeah. someone else's work. Mm. I think that's the main key. That, that, like you said, that it transfers. Here, all students get help. To, uh, we don't have elite schools. We, we don't only encourage the strong ones and leave the the weak ones alone. And we don't have uh, like skill levels or schools that ba is based on skill levels. But the aim is that we try to keep everyone in the development and everybody gets help if they need. So the basic level is very high. And that's why we do well in PISA tests, for example, because wherever you go and wherever you test schools, the basic level in every school is more or less the same. But we want to make sure that, that especially the weak ones stay with the group and they develop as much as possible. It's the equality. Mm -hmm. But still, if you are good, you can go very far. Because some children use visual uh, skills or they're very good at learning through visual you know, like images and so on. And others audio, that they like to hear things and they understand that better. And mm -hmm. some children, they like to use hands to understand things, so they need to touch. It has to be very concrete. Also, I try to uh, use different teaching techniques. Uh, sometimes I use uh, the do uh, documentary camera or document camera. Sometimes I use uh, just the normal blackboard. Sometimes we play games and sometimes they work in groups or in pairs. Yes, it's good to have materials so you can approach things in, from many different directions. Mm -hmm. So if something seems hard to understand or it seems boring or that the students don't find it so interesting, maybe I can make it interesting by using uh, the materials that I have in the class. In my opinion, IT is a, is a good way to enrich, enrich your teaching, uh, to help students who need things visualized, who need to see things happen, and who need to see the things that we are learning. And it also helps us in, um, or helps me to kind of present the phenomena that we're studying in physics and chemistry, biology, make learning more interesting and thus uh, kind of reach better levels in learning. There's lots of information in the world. Mm. And 
with IT, usually the, the amount of information increases. But information itself is useless before it comes or becomes knowledge. And by making it knowledge is that a human being has to more or less kind of handle it and process the information. But it can't be the only, the only way. It can't be the main focus of teaching. It's just a, a tool. In the school, uh, children uh, or the teachers trust the children quite a lot. We don't guide the children too much. We have rules, regulations, and we, we monitor them, of course but we don't try to control them too much if they deserve it. If the children can behave so that they earn the trust, they are trusted. They, they feel free to try things. They feel free to uh, use their imagination and find their own way of learning. I think we teachers tend to uh, uh, treat the children as human beings, not as small human beings who are not yet adults, but as human beings who already have a value. The children have boundaries. They know what they can and they know what they can't do, but still they feel free to to try their wings and try try how, how things are. It's easy to grow and learn when you know your limits most important aspect in this relationship is uh, the trust. Hey, hey! Oh, my, 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 my.